Now, more charges have been brought against Myanmar's elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi, whose government was toppled by the military in a coup in February. State-run media said that Ms Suu Kyi now faced corruption charges linked to a charity set up in memory of her mother. Uh, she's also accused of accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and gold. Here's our Southeast Asia correspondent, Jonathan Head. Well, no one's going to be surprised by these additional charges. Remember, they come on top of uh, televised confessions that the military junta broadcast three months ago of a former chief minister from Yangon and a construction tycoon, both claiming that they had given large sums of money to Aung San Suu Kyi when she was in office and substantial quantities of gold. They come on top of six other charges, and in one sense, they... They're rather more serious because the previous charges the military filed against Aung San Suu Kyi were somewhat bizarre and trivial in some cases. This one, taking large amounts of money, outright corruption, would go completely against everything that Aung San Suu Kyi has stood for. That's if, if people believed it, but I don't think anybody will. As her lawyer pointed out, she has many defects, but corruption is not one of them. She's known to be completely uninterested in material things, and I think most of the population in Myanmar will dismiss this as a charade. In a sense, none of that matters. The judiciary is firmly under the thumb of the military government, and if they want to, there's no question that they could convict Aung San Suu Kyi uh, to put her in prison for the rest of her life if they want, or probably more likely they will use this to disqualify her from any future political office. Remember, the military keeps promising that eventually it will hold an election and return to some kind of civilian government. But Aung San Suu Kyi and her party remain by far the most popular entities in the country. If she is still free to contest any election, the military knows she'll win it. So these court cases, whatever the outcome, are probably a device to make sure she can't do that.